In this exercise, we're going to demonstrate the importance of modular programming using MATLAB functions. One important aspect of modular programming is the reuse of code. And in this example, this function call can reuse a code defined by the file bsort.m. And you can use it repeatedly in different locations in a script or in another uh, function. Another aspect of modular programming is that you can replace the existing module with a new module. So let's look at the definition of the function bsort. And here we define the input argument list as well as the output argument list. If the definition is the same as another sort algorithm, and we can basically swap the two function calls in one statement. And today, we're going to show you how to do it. First of all, let's look at the MATLAB function called sort. So let's say help sort. And we get its description. And of course, it has a lot of features. What we're going to do is to change our bsort.m um, to replace the sort algorithm for at least one feature. This feature is here. So we have a sort a comma direction, which means we're going to sort the vector a uh, with the direction either ascending or descending. And this direction um, in this help file is defined as a string, either ascend or descend. OK, with this in mind, what we're going to do is to modify our bsort.m file. In this case, we're going to add a direction here, so that make the input argument the same as the um, sort function. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. direction, okay? And of course, the input variables will have two variables. Direction, if it's ascend, meaning sort the vector x in ascending order. Descend, meaning to sort the vector x in descending order. OK, so output vari variables will be like this. All right, so here we have a direction. Now the next thing we're going to do is to think about how to incorporate the direction inside the existing uh, algorithm. And as you know, that if we want to do the uh, descending uh, sort, all you have to do is to switch the, uh, switch the uh, comparison. So greater than becomes less than. However, in this example, we should think about something smart so that it will be uh, easy to implement and it will not introduce a confusion. So first of all, what we're going to do is to decide, before we enter the bubble sort, decide the sort direction. 
okay how can we do that well there will be um, com um, the comparisons here so first of all let's introduce a boolean value or boolean variable dir okay or we will say to be more specific a sort dir if sort dir is true which means sort in ascending order. If sort BIR is false, sorting in uh, descending order, Okay, and then what we're going to do is to introduce a second a second boolean mm, called um, correct DIR. Why we need to do that? Because since the uh, direction is defined by the string, so it is very common that the user may get you a wrong uh, string. And in that case, you cannot decide which direction to go. And we need to identify those cases. So if the If correct DIR is true, then we do do sorting. Otherwise, if if it's false, return. an empty vector y, all right? So we need to define that. So how can we reach that? Well, we, what you're going to do is to use switch statement. To determine or to decide the values of sort dir and correct dir okay so let's do it here to avoid any case issues we will make the direction or uppercase so it will be direction equals u p p e r upper direction right so the next what we're going to do is to use a switch statement switch direction and then we have a case is ascend If it is a hand ascend, then we know that sort DRR is true. And of course, it is correct sorting command. What about the case descend?
and suddenly we can copy paste these two statements. The only thing we need to change is this false. Okay. And of course, the rest will be otherwise. And in this case, the correct equals false. So there's no need to, uh, to assign the values for sort direction. Okay, so we end. All right, so this is end um, statement. And I think I have a typo here, so I will correct it. The reason I find a typo here is I saw an underline uh, below the direction, which means this value is not changed. And then I, if I use the correct spelling and the direction that variable is used, so the underline will disappear. Same thing here, you will see sort dir and correct dir, they are not used. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is starting sort. And I think this is very straightforward. If sort direction is valid, Do sorting. Okay. So we'll say if correct sort. So this those the, the those piece of code will be um, for the sorting. Okay. So we just need to indent them. else, which means it's not correct, then the y will equal to a empty vector. Okay? And we will have an end for this function. Next, uh, we're going to decide the, the condition to swap the positions of two values. And obviously, this is only for the ascending um, sort. So what we are going to do is to just list a uh, so-called conditions in the Boolean value. So if we sort direction is true and And the xii is greater than xii plus 1. And in this condition, which means we're doing the ascending sort, and the uh, current value is greater than the next value, we need to do the swap. And another condition is, if the sort direction is false and the x value xii is less than xii plus 1. In this case it's for the uh, descending sort and the current value is less than the next value. So we also do the swap. How can we recondition the, uh, these two and to make it more uh, easy to implement in the MATLAB? Well, let's say 
what if if we do this if this is true this doesn't change this statement okay however what about if I flip this comparison and make the outcome is false okay this is exactly the same thing as xii less than xii plus one is true all right now we have these two uh, conditions so what we're going to um, construct is that if the two booleans if the two booleans are all true or the two booleans are all false then we do the swap and this is actually a very useful function called exclusive all. The exclusive all is just saying that if the two inputs, their value are different, the output will be true. Okay? But in this case, it's just the opposite of the exclusive all. So in this case, what we can do is to swap this statement with an exclusive or of sort direction and this comparison. So there will be two Boolean values. And of course, the outcome should be the not of these two conditions. So once we did that, it will combine both the ascending uh, sort and the descending sort conditions into one. All right, so let's save it. So we just need to test it to see if it works. So we'll say B sort, or let's say Y equals B sort, and we will say a random vector, which is 1 to 10 elements. And I say ascend. Well, there's an error. Okay, so let's see what's happened. It's say in line 48 over here. Oh, so this is wrong, so it should be correct DIR. And then we save it. So the reason I didn't uh, uh, leave out those errors in the video is that just show you that once you finish writing this, once you finish writing the um, script or the function, when you first run, usually you will encounter some sort of errors. And that's uh, not the end of the day, and it's, it is quite normal. Let's run it again, okay? Well, it seems that I got another error here. And let's see what, what happens. So it is a sort direction. Uh, let me see, I think, sort DIR. All right, so, see? Sometimes I made a lot of errors, and I simply, this is quite normal. Let's give it a try again. All right, this time it works. Let's see, well, it sorted the random number in ascending order. So let's give it a try to descend. You see, exactly the descending order. 